So one of the things I was planning on doing this year was upgrading my CPU. For about six to seven years, I've been using the Intel Core i7 4770K. To be honest, it was an epic process. For a long time, I demolished everything in this path. Just part of the reason why I stuck with it for so long. Absolutely nothing phased it, and I, I could upgrade or swap out the GPUs every couple of years and not have a lick of bother from it. That is until recently when it started showing its set age. In recent times, it struggled with games like F1 2019 and Division 2. I knew sometime this year I'll be upgrading, so I tried to do a comparison footage of the old versus the new processor. Yeah, for example, there's PUBG running with OSB and MSIF burner in the background. All the sends are set to low as well. A time set dropped in between 19 and 120 FPS. Except for the times when it drops at absolute zero before recovering. These drops made the games mentioned previously almost unplayable. You know, the FPS drops to zero and you've been gunned down, or you've dropped to zero and you've crashed into a wall. It was just becoming an absolute nightmare. So recently I've upgraded to the AMD Ryzen 3900X. One of the reasons for this was the price point. I was looking at the 3700X and the 3600X, but with the price being around about 400 quid, it made sense to stump up the extra 100 odd pounds to get 12 cores and 24 threads. To be honest, I think if I had one for either the 3700X or the 3600X, I would have had that upgrade either next year or the year after due to the PS5 and Xbox consoles using a similar 8 core Sen2 processor. To be honest, it's just an absolute monster. You know, here for example is PUBG on max settings, one of for both OSB and MSI after in, in the background. And CPU is not even pushing past 20% usage. The only real limitation here is the GPU, but the FPS is easily being maintained at over 100 FPS. I'm still using the RTX 2070 non super version, which is still a great graphics card for 1080p gaming. And if the rumors in the video of like the 3000 series graphics cards with either 32 gigs of memory or more, then it'll be upgraded for the end of the year.